Hey guys, Sharon here. Sorry my hair looks crazy, but I was swimming earlier, hanging out with some fam. Hope you guys are doing okay right now. Um, and this is just kind of like a loft mini haul and just my explanation of what I got, how it fits, and all that good stuff. So anyway, I'm gonna flip this around here. Oh, I'm wearing this top here. What is this called? This is a, I know it's like almost summer and I'm wearing a freaking sweater, but they were on an amazing sale. Eh, it doesn't say. Claw, it just says, I forgot what this is called. But anyway, it's this like heather gray sweater. You can't, it has like a bunch of different colors in it. It fits really weird. Maybe it doesn't look like it in the picture, but it's kind of snug on the arms, which are really long. See, it goes to like my fingers. And I'm wearing a small. <laughs> And I found that I am, like you see, I am not a small person, especially not on top. And uh, with loft sizing, they have something that we call vanity sizing, which means they size everything bigger than it really is. So you can say you're a smaller size than you really are. So it makes you feel great. Except sometimes it's annoying because if you buy something online, just beware because a lot of the stuff online that's on sale or anything on sale, a lot of it is you cannot return or exchange it. So you wanna make sure you guess your size pretty well. And what I always do is I read the reviews for each item always. I look at the sizing first to see how most people size it, if it's big or small, and almost always it's big. And I've kind of figured out my size there um but I would say I love the store I love everything I could get pretty much a whole new wardrobe there and most all of the all of the items are really well made um and they're they're good quality so even if you paid full price I don't think it would be a total ripoff it's expensive like this top says it's $69.50 <laughs> that's not what I paid I paid six bucks for this sweater six freaking dollars I also got this sweater here this one let's move that this one was also six bucks let me open this up hold on That's cute. So, um, ooh, it's sparkly too. I forgot about it. This one's really cute. And why do you ask, am I buying sweaters when it's over 110 degrees? I live in the Southwest and it's insanely hot, which is weird because last year our weather was a lot milder than normal. And then this year it's summer, well before summer. I don't even live in Phoenix and it's We've already broken, I think, 111, maybe higher. It's crazy. But anyway, the reason being is I know generally what my size is going to be. I don't plan on getting any bigger, hopefully smaller. Of course, if my sweaters are a little bigger than I'd like, that's okay because they're sweaters. You know, sweaters, it's okay to be a little big, but... This is also a freaking small. Does this look like a small to you? It's not. Honestly, okay, so back to the vanity sizing. In loft, what I have found is you are generally two sizes smaller in loft than you actually are. For instance, I'm about a size 12. Um, I'm working on getting to maybe a 10, but I'm not there yet. And I wear a size six in loft. I am not a size six. I have never worn a size six in my freaking life. Or I'm sorry, no, I'm not a size six. I am a size eight. I can almost fit into a six. I'm not, a six would be a 10 because you size up two. So you go and you know, each size, if you're watching this is basically every two. So, um, it would go six, eight, 10, or for me, I'm eight, 10, 12. And it, it's pretty consistent, which is good. But sometimes I have, I've literally, I have bought tops in a X. I don't know if it was an X, X, X small, or if it was an X, X small. I am not a double X small, okay? I'm not. <laughs> I'm not huge, but I am not there. I'm like a size 12, 10, 12, whatever. I'm not an XX small. And I, I don't like my, for me, okay, I'm a curvy woman, so I don't like my clothes super huge because honestly, it just makes me look fat. And that's just how it works for me. So everyone's different. I mean, if you're super thin and you wear things bigger, maybe it looks good on you. Um, and, you know, whatever. You got to know what works for your body type. But anyway... 
So back to the vanity sizing. So I basically bought these two outfits in my little haul. I spent about 40 bucks. Maybe it was like 42 with tax. I don't remember exactly, but I know these sweaters were $6 each and they're so cute. And I, I just, I'm in love with loft. What the frick? Oh, that's not a stain. Good. Um, so even if I, they didn't fit perfectly, I knew I could resell them or whatever. And um, so I got each one was, yeah. So these pants, their pants are amazing. They're kind of like express pants, maybe slightly better quality. Um, express pants, I've had a couple of pairs. They're really thick and a lot of times they're lined well. They're just, um, the material is so much better. So even if you pay more, it's totally worth it. Okay, so these are an eight. I think these are the, um, why does it not say, oh, here we go, high waist trouser curvy through the hip. I am not fully sure what the difference between the curvy and modern pants are. I think you get a little more room in the top if they're curvy, meaning you're just fatter. I mean, I don't even think I meant to order the curvy. They just, that's what they had available or something. And I think I spent about 20, why is there so much crap on here? Ew. I, I spent about 20 bucks on the pants. Are these the high waist? Yeah. So the high waist, I think, fits a little bit looser even. So I probably could have gotten a six in those if I wanted them snug. I don't like pants too big. But anyway, that's one cute outfit. The other sweater was about six bucks as well. And then these little, I think it's called a, a jogger skirt. This is a terrible angle. <laughs> jogger skirt. Um, it's really cute. It's really comfortable. It's like, um, uh, I don't know how to describe the material. It's like a cottony um, poly blend or something. And it's comfy. Like you could probably dress it up or down. It's got um, this weird slinky lining inside. Sorry, this angle's horrible. And I like it. My skirt is a small petite. <laughs> which I find hilarious because I'm 5'8 and I'm not petite. But petite, I think all it means really literally is that the skirt is a an inch or two shorter than it normally would be, but it goes like just a couple inches above my knees, which is perfect for summer. So I'm loving it. And this sweater, I forgot what it's called. Honestly, it fits so weird. So I'm 5'8 and the sleeves go, this is a small, I'm 5'8, this is a small, and the sleeves go all the way down to here, but they're kind of snug. And then the rest is kind of like baggy, but clingy at the same time. So it's not horrible. I don't think I can return any of this stuff anyways. And I've gotten a little bit chunkier during quarantine. So maybe it'd fit better if I had less rolls, but uh, it's fine. So yeah, that's that. Um, these sweaters were like six bucks. Oh, I think the, the skirt was eight bucks. But look at the quality, dude. They're this the it just really cute. Look at that. Yes, the fit is weird. And I would say, okay, so if you're shopping in loft, look at the reviews when you go online. Um, even before you go in store, if you can find the same thing, sometimes I'll do both. Sometimes I'll go in store and try on some things. And then if I find it online, I know exactly what size, but literally, um, I bought other things, maybe I'll show you eventually that I haven't worn yet, that I I almost always, when I buy things, I try them on always. I, my size is never the same, but in loft it seems I'm typically a small and a size eight, which is funny because that's literally two sizes smaller than I would normally get. And I'm probably normally like maybe a large or uh, like I said, a 12. So if you go to loft, probably size down, two sizes, two full sizes. If you can try things on, read the reviews. Um, always go online. They have sales all the time. So these things, these pants probably retail for like 70 bucks. I don't know. This sweater says it retails for 64.50. The one I'm wearing is, um, what does that say? 69.50. These this skirt, where the frick? I don't know where the tag went. I'm just gonna rip it off. Oops. Skirt is $59.50. So everything is like, what is that? 
I don't know how much those are, but basically it retails for like what, 250 bucks. I'm roughly adding, sorry. Um, for all this stuff, I got it for 40 bucks online shipped to me. I think if you, I might've had a code to get free shipping. Usually I think it's if you spend 49 or more, um, it's a great deal for all that. Eight bucks for the skirt, six bucks each for the tops, which normally I wouldn't buy right now. And I think I bought them like a month ago anyway, but pants you can use all the time, especially for work. And I know I will wear these sweaters. Okay, so the reason I got them is because they're such an amazing deal. If you can buy things off season, it's so much better because you can, if you know your size is not going to change too much. And with, like I said, with sweaters, I get them to try and fit me snugly now because I'm trying to lose weight. But even if they become bigger on me, um, that's okay because they're sweaters. And um, so when you're in the process of losing weight and I say you actually have a plan and you're actually being successful at it, even if it's slow, then it's okay to buy things slightly smaller or um, whatever because it will fit you eventually. And it's motivating. But I mean, I used to buy stuff that was smaller and I had no plan and it, I always waste, it was such a waste of money. But anyway, um, so yeah, but just... With Loft, I would say go down two sizes, read the reviews, figure out your size. If you can, go in store and try things on. Um, I really recommend the store. I love it for professional wear and just wear. I can't even talk. And just basic... Um, I don't know, like business casual. They have a lot of really cute blazers. I feel like it's really great wear if you're a professional and... Um, I'll turn around so it's not super boring. If you're kind of a professional and you want something fun and not boring uh, to wear something different, I love this store. Anyway, hope this is helpful. Sorry, I tend to ramble and hope you guys are staying safe during everything and not going totally crazy. And this stuff um, I bought like a month ago or whatever, so it's probably not available, but they have, they recycle a lot of the same styles and everything, and they just have a lot of beautiful things coming out. So if you're on a budget, it's fine. Don't look at the regular retail. They have sales all the time. They have half off, sometimes 60 and 70% off for certain sales. Um, but if you really love something, honestly, get it immediately because they tend to sell out. Sometimes they'll recycle stuff and it'll come back again. But I kept making this cart and I was trying to get this loft card online on eBay. And then by the time I got the card, half of my things were sold out or the sizes I wanted were sold out. And then um, the card was only available to use in store, which... I didn't see on the description because you have to scroll all the way down on eBay to get the description, which I didn't know because I haven't bought there in a while. And so I was kind of upset about that. But I'm like, you know what? Even though the, I don't, I think they might have reopened. I haven't been there. I find a lot more things I like online. So that sucks. I mean, I will probably still use it anyway, but I was trying to use it on my online cart. <laughs> but um maybe I can find those things in store or something and I'll just wait it out it's fine um it is what it is so hope this helps guys happy shopping hope you're staying safe don't get crazy even though quarantine is now over still try to stay safe if you can wear a mask keep your hygiene up keep a distance and like let's not have the reoccurring issues apparently you know a hundred years ago because there seems to be a pandemic every hundred years with the spanish flu there was um a bigger recurrence of the issues of infections and deaths when the quarantine was over because when people were dumbing quarantine they were going so stir crazy that they just went everywhere they threw all caution to the wind and just it spread everywhere. So please guys, let's try not to do that. Anyway, have a great day. Have a great weekend and take care.